tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you Photoshop history logs and how to actually start one up and what sort of information goes in the file. Now, first thing to do, and I'm just going to quickly go over here, just quickly go to Preferences, Photoshop and obviously Preferences and History Log. Just select that. There's a little option there. Just click there. Now, you'll see there's an option for metadata, text file, or both. Now, I'm just going to go for both, but I could just select metadata, or I could select the text file. I've actually got a location I've already created there. You can choose a location, so I've just put it to my desktop in the Photoshop edit log.txt. And I'm going to go for, could go for concise, could go just for sessions, but I'm just going to, I always generally stick to the detailed. But you can obviously decide yourself. Now, once you've actually done that, click OK. Now, why would you actually want to keep a history? Well, the history is just a great way of, if you say like you want to track things, see what work you've done on various files, maybe what text has been added, what brushes you've used, every sort of whole things like layers been added, effects applied, all that is stored in that very detailed history file. And obviously adds uh, some additional data to the file, but anyway. So once you've actually done that, once you've actually started it up, you, what you can do, and I'm just going to quickly apply a few things. I'm just going to add some things there. And now, I'm just going to go to the actual file. I've already pre-prepared it. Here's the actual Photoshop edit log text. And you can see there it's got flatten image, a flatten image, that was something I did earlier. Then set history log preferences. So I've actually set it to be actually working now. So all that data I've just done there, those ones there, have been stored. So make file layer, using file layer, it's told me it's uh, red, obviously the green, or it's a slight bit of green, slight bit of blue, and it's ellipse and size and all that sort of stuff. All the information, there's other things. Now some things are less informative, so you go, just gonna flatten that. Say effects. Now I'm just gonna go for one that probably is pretty, a lot of information. I'm just gonna go for camera, and I'm going to just modify a few things, etc. Just going to tweak that and click OK. Now, just go back to the history file, and I'm just going to go back there and then let's just come out of that. So now you can see I've just added, and then you've got that. So you can just see there's a whole range of information: filter, settings, custom, tint, convert you adjust etc etc all that sort of information a whole range of other information as well okay so that's that that's in the actual text file text file is great you can keep that as a separate entity so it's not actually included in the file so it's, a, it's just a great log of everything you do you might want to keep it running you might not okay I'm just going to go back to the document and then just go to it's going to look for the old file info edit and there's sorry file and file info and you see there, you've got Photoshop history appears in the raw data. Let's go back there, obviously you've got all those. Just go down there, and there's the history there. You've got raw data as well, you can see the actual list in there. But it's not probably that easy to actually look at it there. So it's probably just easy, obviously, just to just see it in the history there. You can just see the history list. And again, you'll see exactly the same sort of thing that we're... And that's be stored with the file as well. So when you save it, PSD, etc., you can actually see all that information and you can then look through it and say, right, well, I did a bit of this and I did a bit of that, camera filter, etc. Right, click OK. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.